When firefighters rush to rescue people and property, they face more than flames and smoke. The insidious danger lurks long after the fire is gone. As News 13's Chloe Sparks tells us, Jackson County firefighters now have a new tool to help battle the invisible killer. The leading cause of death for firefighters is not what you would expect. The CDC says the most dangerous enemy they face, cancer. You get cancer, I can't perform my duties to the citizens of Jackson County. Jackson County Fire Rescue's new decontamination unit is supposed to help dampen the dangers. Not only we decon from COVID and buildings and vehicles, but we can also decon from fire and uh, help cancer initiative and, and keep cancer spread down. Firefighters will deploy this unit on larger working fires. They'll be able to refill their air tanks and scrub off carcinogens on site. Mike Wiggins has been fighting fire for 27 years. He says the safety precautions were much different back then. We didn't have nothing, nothing at all. We just took our bunker gear off of fire, threw it in the truck, went on our business until the next call. He says the new young firefighters are pretty lucky to have a unit like this early on in their careers. Several uh, colleagues of ours here locally, you know, had, has gotten some uh, testicular cancer and also prostate cancer, and it was related to the fire service. A couple of my friends down in Orlando who worked for Orlando Fire Department, uh, same way. The Jackson County Administration is going to provide life scans to these firefighters in August. Early detection, it can save your life, save anybody's life. Fire officials also hope to get their new decontamination unit out into the public within the next month. In Jackson County, Chloe Sparks, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Well, the fire department paid for this money with CARES Act money. Uh, there's any uh, another big COVID outbreak, uh, then firefighters will be able to take it to sites for decontamination. As we 